Stand by! Fire! Washington, District of Columbia, further military support in the amount of 350 million US dollars, 5.3 trillion Indonesian rupiah, has been approved for Ukraine by the United States of America, US. The announcement of the additional assistance came as Kiev was preparing to launch a counteroffensive against the Russian forces that had invaded their territory. Antony Blinken, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Munlu, made the announcement in the most recent statement that was released on Monday, 23rd, which was the same day that it was reported by Reuters, Tuesday, March 21, 2023, that additional military support would be forthcoming from the United States. According to a statement released by Blinken, this military aid package includes more ammunition for US-supplied HIMARS and howitzers used by Ukraine to defend itself. In addition, this military aid package includes ammunition for Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, harm missiles, anti-tank guns, riverboats, and other equipment, Blinken said. The Russian invasion of Ukraine began on February 24, 2022, and the United States has so far contributed more over $30 billion worth of weapons supplies to assist Ukraine in its defense against the invasion by Russia. The most recent donation of military assistance from the United States was made public just a few days after the United States Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley spoke by phone with their respective Ukrainian counterparts. According to the White House, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also participated in the final portion of a telephone call that took place on Friday, 17 thirds, of the previous week. In order to mount a counteroffensive and attempt to reclaim territories that have been held by Russian soldiers over the course of the previous year, Kiev is attempting to stockpile armaments from its western friends, with the United States being the most prominent of these allies. Only Russia can put an end to this war right now. We will continue to stand united with Ukraine for as long as it is necessary until Russia fulfills its obligations Blinken said in a statement. The most recent aid package that has been announced by the United States comes on the same day that Chinese President Xi Jinping met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow to push Beijing's role as a potential peacemaker in Ukraine. As the International Criminal Court ICC, issued an arrest warrant for the Russian leader on charges of transferring Ukrainian miners to Russia, she will be the first leader to meet with Putin after the warrant was issued.